Here we will be talking about the Fit to Selection tool. We have added a new Fit Curve mode that is designed for fitting 3D curves within the volume of a selection. In this case here, we have a simple pipe. You can go to Select Move Clay, Fit to Selection, and choose Fit Curve. Clicking Apply will create a new curve that is going to use the entire object as the selection. As you can see, we have a curve that follows the interior volume of this piece. Granted, this is a very simple case. I'm going to hide that curve and turn on a version that has a fork in it. Doing the same steps, now the algorithm has to decide which way to go. This takes a little bit longer, and it does not always give the most accurate result. It is a good fit, but it doesn't extend all of the way. For times like this, you want to manually select what you want to extract the 3D curve for. So I will Control Z to undo. And using the ball select, I will press T to go inside so I can feel from the inside. And I am going to select all the way down and we'll pick the lower path. And I will also use the eraser to remove a little bit from the joint. Now clicking apply, we'll use just the selected region for this curve. And as you can see, now it extends all the way and creates a very good curve based on what we gave it. This is very clean data, and sometimes you will be using CAD data, sometimes you'll, you will be using scan data, and sometimes you are going to want to pick perhaps the interior of a hollow pipe. I happen to have a model right here that is mesh and is a manifold from an engine. And in order to get the interior of this, you cannot just use this tool as is. The calculation is expecting that the surface is going to be facing away. So if we use mesh tools, select mesh area, and make a selection on the inside of one of these pipes. Select a few faces, make sure not to select anything through the back, and now we can use our new Select by Crease Angle and make sure the crease angle is set to something appropriate. In this case here we have to lower it down quite a bit to not select areas nearby. I can click Select by Crease Angle and now I have selected all of the interior faces. This is the selection we'll use for the fit curve, but we also need to flip the normals of this model so they're facing the right direction for the calculation to work. This is the reverse command in the Mesh Utilities palette. Now if I go back to Fit to Selection, using the selection which is maintained from the previous tool, and click Apply, we can see that we've created a curve on the interior of this model. I can go back to Mesh Utilities and reverse again so we have the correct orientation for the faces, but this time, well, now we keep the curve that we've created.